Hey guys, this is Alyssa. I help introverted moms clear their space and schedules so we can live our best lives now, not have to wait till our kids are grown. Today, we're going to talk about snoozing or doing what's on your to-do list. Have you ever felt like this before? You're staring, okay, glaring at your to-do list in the morning. The thought pops into your head, everything would be so much better if you could just not do three quarters of those tasks. Tell me in the comments if this is you. First thing on your to-do list when you're evaluating when you're glaring at it. Is it a really quick thing, like one to five minutes? Then I'm gonna suggest, go do it. Second thing, how much is it stressing you with it hanging out over your head? Is it something that's really, really, really annoying you? Or is it kind of a, eh, I should, I could care less, but I should. If it's stressing you, again, go do it. If you could really don't care about it, I'd say, snooze it. Wait till it becomes a priority to you. Just ditch the shoulds, okay? Number three, are you getting stressed at the thought of doing it today? It may be important, but doing it today, that's just totally throwing you off your game, upsetting the apple cart, you do not like the thought of this. Okay, push it off the list. Don't delete it entirely, but push it off. Go for the snooze route. Pick a day to do it, yes. So I want you to snooze your calendar reminder, cut and paste it from your digital to-do list, and cut and paste it onto tomorrow or next week. Something reasonable you think you do have a good chance of doing it that day. You know, don't just like perpetually snooze something. But listen, your mental health is more important than crossing something off of your to-do list, right? Right? If you really believe that, then just admit, this is not a good day. I've got too much going on. I will make it a priority Tuesday, Friday, next month on the 13th. Write it down, that's your new date. No guilt for you right now, okay? Now, something for you. Go to yourunbusylife.com slash blog, scroll down the right-hand sidebar till you see get your kids to clean their rooms. It's a free e-course because I want you to have less on your plate. There's no reason to have pick up the kids' rooms three times a day on your to-do list, is there? Why don't you have them do it? And this little free e-course is going to show you step by step how to get them to be doing the picking up so that you do not have to have that on your list, right? We don't need it. Unless you've got a baby, you do the picking up, but they're three and up, they're four and up, they should be able to do some modicum of picking up, right? And if they're seven or eight, <laughs> you better believe they're capable. So cross that off your list for good. Get, get your kids to clean your rooms. I will put that link below in the description for you. Have a great day, guys.